Hello you guys, it's Shayna Marie again. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a vinyasa style yoga flow. So we're going to have some back bends today um, and also some shoulder opening, upper body opening. So hopefully that gets you all loose and releases some tension in that upper area that we all have. Um, you shouldn't need anything for this practice, but if you do have yoga blocks or even a yoga strap, you may want it or need it. Um, it's always good to have your props available just in case. Um, but otherwise, I will not have any or I will not be using any props today. Um, other than that, make sure you have a space, your mat. I have a playlist linked below, so if you want to follow along with a playlist that I will be listening to, you can go on my Spotify and use that playlist, um, so take a moment to do that if you would like. Otherwise, we'll get started right away. So let's just get started on our mats, laying down. You can place your arms along your sides and then just plant your feet. For a moment, just find a relaxing place. So if you're feeling anxious or excited or any rising emotions currently, try to just let them fall. Sinking into your mat and getting comfortable with this space with this present moment in your practice today. Take a deep breath in, fill up your lungs, push that belly out, expanding a nice nourishing breath. And on your exhale, let it flood out and slowly start to flatten your spine towards your mat. Just imagining it flattening completely against the earth Keeping that shape, again, inhale, fill up. And exhale, slowly releasing. Let's flatten that back a little bit more. Towards the earth. Close the eyes, again, inhale. And exhale, feel yourself getting a little lighter, a little softer, maybe releasing your shoulders a bit more. Let's do that three more times. Big inhale. Slow, concentrated exhale. Exhausting completely, pulling that belly in. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, soften deeper. Releasing any extra tension that you're still carrying with you today. One last big breath in. And sigh it out, exhale. <sighs> Exhaust that breath, flattening spine towards the earth. And slowly digging your heels into the ground, start to lift your hips and ribs up. Squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your butt, and just lift your hips up nice and high. If you have space, walk your shoulder blades underneath you to get a little more lift. And maybe clasp the hands behind the back for a nice bridge pose. Keep digging into those heels and drawing your shoulder blades back, lifting your hips up nice and high, squeezing those glutes. Take two deep breaths here, just a slight back bend to open ourselves up today. And exhaling, slowly lower. It's windshield wiper those knees from side to side. We're going to do that one more time, making sure we're nice and open. And bringing the kneecaps back through center, pointing up. Let's take a breath in. And exhale, flatten your back towards the earth. Slowly lift hips, ribs up. Digging heels into the ground and squeezing your inner thighs. And again, if you have that space, walk your shoulders underneath you and clasp the hands. Take a couple breaths here, lifting as much as available, really squeezing those glutes. Feel all that action, all that force you can. One more inhale. Whew. And exhale, slowly lower to here. Swing the knees, wash it away, getting clear, getting a little lighter with each movement. And coming back through center, pull your knees in. 
taking a hold of the insides of your feet, draw your tailbone towards the ground and just open your legs up nice and wide. Draw your knees down for a nice happy baby. And if you feel the need, maybe rock from side to side, just kind of massaging your spine for a moment. A few breaths here. If you're someone with a little more flexibility going on, maybe those legs extend outward and you straighten them to get a little more stretch in. Let's take a couple more breaths before we really get moving today. Whew, and slowly pull the feet in, squeezing those shins. Rock forward, rock back, bringing power to yourself to come all the way up to a plank pose. And all the way back to downward facing dog. Sinking your hips back. Spread your fingertips nice and wide and just lengthen the sides of your arms. If you can, wrap your triceps back and feel your shoulder blades spread apart. A slight bend to the knees will help those tight hamstrings. Maybe even a cycle to the legs. Whatever you're feeling today, take a moment to just breathe and notice, explore any sensations going on. A couple breaths here. Taking it nice and slow in your practice today. And coming back through center, I want you to feel your palms pressing really deeply into the ground. Like you want to sink your hands below your mat and into the earth. Keep pressing down, spread those shoulders and squeeze your ribs in. Take a deep breath here, maybe bring your toes in, rise to your toes and look in between your thumbs. On your exhale, tiptoe all the way to the top of the mat, one foot at a time until you can't tiptoe anymore and just fold forward, let your head hang. Let your arms go limp. Inhale, lift halfway up. Lengthen your heart forward. Exhaling, fold forward. Let it go. <sighs> Breathe in, fingertips to sky. Reach them tall. Maybe palms press overhead. Take a breath. Exhale, pull hands through heart. Grounding at your center here. Again, inhale, sweep arms to sky. Look up. Exhaling, fold forward, soften those hip creases. <sighs> Breathe in, lift your heart halfway, find length. Exhale, empty, fold it in, release. <sighs> Breathe in, fingertips to sky, grow tall. Exhaling, palms pressed, dragging thumbs through center again, grounding here. And one last time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward over those hip creases. Breathe in, lift your heart halfway, long spine. On your exhale, step your right foot back. Lower the knee to the earth. Inhale, fingertips to sky, reach tall. Take a breath here. Exhale, bring right hand down. Inhale, left fingertips to sky for a little twist. Deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to plank pose. Deep inhale here, come forward to your tippy toes and lower slowly to the earth. Bring arms behind your back to clasp, drag your knuckles down. Inhale, lift chest, arms, legs up for Shalabhasana with a bind. Breathe in. Exhale, lower. Plant your palms, curl toes, and lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, down dog. Sweep your right foot back. On your exhale, pull knee to chest, squeeze tight. Step forward, lower your back knee, breathe in, fingertips to sky, low lunge, digging into that front foot, take a breath. Exhale, left hand down, inhale, right fingertips to sky, maybe gazing off them. Exhale, turn down, curl back toes under and lift your back foot up to step all the way forward and fold forward, Uttanasana at the top of your mat. Breathe in, lift halfway, long spine. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, fingertips to sky, growing tall. Exhale, drag hands through heart, grounding at your center. Again, inhale, reach, grow tall. 
Exhale, fold forward, softening those knees. Breathe in, lift, halfway, lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot back this time. Lower the knee to the earth. Inhale, fingertips sweep to the sky, low lunge. Exhaling, left palm down. Inhale for a little twist, right hand to sky, deep breath. Exhale, turn down. Plant your palms, step back to plank pose. Strong breath in plank, drag that heart forward and lower all the way to the ground. Clasp hands behind your back. Drag your knuckles down. Inhale, lift your chest, arms, legs up. Squeeze those inner thighs for Shalabhasana. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower. Plant your palms, maybe going the push-up route to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, down, down. Sweep that left leg back. Exhaling, pull the knee to your heart. Squeeze it nice and tight. Step lightly forward. Lower your back knee, breathe in, fingertips to sky, low lunge. Exhaling, right hand down. Inhale, left hand to sky, deep breath here. Exhale, turn down, curl those back toes under and lift your back foot up and forward to fold. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold it in, release. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reach tall. Exhaling, skipping a beat, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, plank pose. Come forward to your tippy toes, press the ground away, and squeeze those elbows as you slow lower like molasses all the way to the earth. Squeeze elbows into your sides. Draw shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, cobra, bhujangasana, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower, curl toes under, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, down dog, press the ground away. Rise to your tippy toes, gaze forward. Exhaling, step or float, your choice to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, empty, fold it in, release. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reach tall. Exhaling, skipping a beat, fold forward, let it go. Building heat here, inhale, lengthen, lift halfway. Exhale, palms plant. Step back, plank pose. Drag that chest forward, nice and strong, slow lower, all the way to the ground. Squeeze elbows into your sides, draw shoulders back. Inhale, cobra, chest lifts up. Exhale, lower, curl toes under to downward facing dog, however you choose. Deep breath in down dog, get yourself straightened away. Rise to your toes, gaze forward, sturdy hands here on your exhale, step or float to the top of the mat. <sighs> Inhale, lift, halfway lengthen. Exhale, empty, fold it in, release. <sighs> Breathe in, fingertips to sky, stretch tall. Exhale, grab opposite elbows, stretch yourself up, and side bend to your right. <sighs> Inhale through center, find length, maybe switch the grip. Exhaling, side bend left. <sighs> Inhale through center, release the bind, root down. Exhaling, fold forward, let it go. <sighs> Breathe in, lift, halfway, long spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, plank pose. Squeeze that belly as you drag your heart forward, squeeze the elbows and lower halfway. You can always lower your knees to the earth. Inhale, pull chest forward and through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, down dog, stretch your left leg back. Exhaling, bend your knee, open your hip, and for a moment, just take that nice stretch here. Maybe explore a little bit with the hip. Feeling where it's at today, if it's stiff, maybe give a little rounding, wherever you need. And exhale that foot to the earth. Let's go second side, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend knee, open hip. And for a moment, just explore that hip. See where it's at today. Maybe you just stay still and just open. And slowly turn the thigh bone down, release the foot. Inhale, downward facing dog. Gaze forward in between your thumbs. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, lift halfway, long spine. Exhale, empty, soften those knees, Uttanasana. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reach them tall. Exhale, grab opposite elbows, stretch up and side, then to your right. Inhale through center, maybe switch the grip. Exhale, side bend to the left, tugging on that elbow. Breathing through center, root down, grow tall. Exhale, fold forward, soften your hips. Breathe in, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, plank pose. Squeeze those elbows towards each other as you rock forward and lower halfway for chaturanga. Inhale, pull chest forward and through, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Deep breath and down dog, stretch that left leg back. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip, and again, find your exploration today. Maybe doing something different with the hip. Maybe not opening it all. Whatever you choose, just feel and move with those sensations, allowing your body to guide you. And slowly bring the foot back through center. Let's stretch that right leg back long. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. And again, exploring with this leg. One more breath here. Turning that thigh bone down, planting the foot back through center. Deep inhale and down dog, rise to your toes, gaze forward. Strong arms, exhaling, step or float to the top of your mat. <sighs> inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back, utkatasana, fingertips reach. Spiral your pinkies in, hollow the armpits out, and then sit deep into your chair. Take a strong breath here. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, plank pose. Come forward to your tippy toes, squeeze those elbows, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward and through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath, stretch left leg back. Exhale, pull knee to chest, squeeze it nice and tight, step lightly forward. Lower your back knee, breathe in, low lunge for a breath. Exhale, right hand down, inhale, left fingertips to sky. This time we're going to turn to the pinky edge of our left foot, and then if you have space for it, sweep that left hand back, bend your back knee, and reach back for a bind. Take a moment here to just open that left hip, and get a little back bend out of it, opening your chest towards the ceiling. Take a breath. Whew. Exhaling, turn the chest down. Planting that front foot. Curl your back toes under to lift your back knee up. Scissor up those inner thighs nice and tight. Inhale, high lunge, fingertips to sky. Take a strong breath here. Pull your ribs in. Exhaling, clasp hands behind the back. Draw your knuckles down, open your heart to the ceiling, deep inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back, plank pose. Strong breath here as you bring the heart forward and lower halfway. Inhale, pull forward and through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, stretch right leg back long. Exhale, pull knee to chest, squeeze it tight. Step lightly forward, lower your back knee, breathe in, fingertips to sky, low lunge. Exhaling, left hand down, inhale, right hand to sky. Let's turn to the pinky edge of that right foot, and again, if you have the space, sweep that right hand back, and reach back to bind with your left foot, adjusting as needed. Take a couple breaths here and open your heart to the ceiling. Whew. One more inhale and slowly release. Turn yourself back through center, planting that front foot, maybe even wiggling it in a little more. Curl the back toes under and lift your back knee up. Squeeze inner thighs, wrap right hip back. Inhale, fingertips to sky, high lunge, deep breath. Exhale, hands behind the back. Draw knuckles down, heart opens, deep inhale. Exhale, release, nice and slow. Let's find that rhythm. Plant your palms, step back, plank pose. 
Come forward to your toes, lower halfway. Inhaling, up dog. Exhale, use your core, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here. Bringing awareness to how your body feels now that it's a little warmed up. You've created a little fire within you. Maybe even broke a sweat today. Where are you at now in your practice? And can, can, you, can you continue with this momentum through the course of this hour we have together? Take a couple more breaths. And on your next breath in, press the ground away. Rise to your tippy toes, gaze forward. Exhale, step, float, jump, whatever you gotta do, to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift, halfway, find length. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back. Ooh, katasana, fingertips reach. I want you to imagine your tailbone wrapping underneath you and pull your ribs in. Sink deeper into your chair. We're sitting on chairs, not bar stools today. Take a breath, look up. Ooh, katasana. Exhale, straighten your legs, fold forward, Uttanasana. Breathe in, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. You know where we're going, step back, plank pose. Come forward to your toes, squeeze elbows lower halfway. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, stretch the left leg back. Exhale, pull knee to chest, squeeze tight. Step lightly forward. You know where we're going, lower that back knee. Breathe in, left hand to sky. Rocking to the pinky edge of the foot. Sweep your left hand back and bend your back knee. Take a couple breaths here, open your heart towards the ceiling, maybe opening the hip a little more. Whew. Exhale, release. Let's walk that foot in, curl back toes under to lift the knee, scissor up the inner thighs, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands behind the back. Draw knuckles beneath your tailbone. Open your heart up. Exhale, release. Plant the palms. Draw that foot back. Plank pose. Come forward, lower halfway. Inhaling, up dog. Pull shoulder heads back. Exhale, downward facing dog. No time to waste. Deep inhale, right leg sweeps back. Exhale, pull knee in. Squeeze. Step lightly forward. Lower your back knee, breathe in, low lunge, fingertips to sky. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right hand up. Roll into the pinky edge of that foot. Let's bend the back knee and sweep your right hand back for maybe a bind. Take two deep breaths, leaning into that left hip. Exhale, release. Walking that right foot in, curl the back toes under to lift your back knee up. Inhale, high lunge, fingertips reach. Last time with this, exhaling, clasp hands behind the back, drag knuckles down, heart opens. Deep inhale, exhale, release. Plant your palms, plank pose. Come forward to your tippy toes and lower halfway. Inhaling, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, let it out, exhale. On your next breath in, Rise to your tippy toes, gaze forward. Exhale, step, float, jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, find length. Exhale, empty, fold it in, release. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reach tall. Exhale, drag hands through heart, grounding at your center. Inhaling, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward, soften those knees. Breathe in, lift halfway, long spine. Exhaling, bend your knees, sit back, Utkatasana, fingertips reach. Remember, knitting those ribs in. Take a breath here. On your exhale, sink down to a tiny little squat. Split your knees nice and wide, and then bring hands in front of you, shoulder distance apart. Squeeze your knees high up on your upper arms, and lock your elbows in towards each other. Take a strong breath here. This may be where you stay today. If you want to Chance going a little further, start rocking your weight forward. Feel that pull on your belly, maybe lifting one leg up, maybe two for bakasana or crow pose. Take a strong breath wherever you're at today, gaze forward. Exhaling, step, float, jump, back to plank or chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart up, dog. 
Exhaling, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, side out exhale. Breathe in, sweep your left leg back long. Exhale, bend your knee, open the hip, gaze under your left arm. And if you want to be curious today, maybe that left foot comes down and around behind you, lifting your chest up for wild thing. Dig into that right palm to lift your hips up and take a breath, maybe left arm over the head, full back bend here. Exhaling, use your core to pull that leg back. Turning back to one-legged dog. Stretch left leg back long. Exhaling, pull knee to right upper arm. Squeeze it tight. Take a breath here. Inhale, back through center. Grow long. Exhaling, step lightly forward. Pivot your back heel flat. Breathe in. Virabhadrasana two, fingertips reach. Dig your heels down into the earth. Squeeze your inner thighs and take a strong breath here. Just feeling that whole action in your inner thighs, digging into the back of your back foot. And on your inhale, bring arms up over the head. Exhaling, clasp hands behind the back. Draw your knuckles down, heart opens. And exhale, fold inside that thigh, humble warrior. You can drop your neck and just drag your knuckles forward. Taking a breath here. Whew. Exhaling, lift your chest halfway up. Release the bind and straighten your front leg. Draw that left hip back and bring fingertips to earth or shin. Breathe in, right hand to sky, Trikonasana. Deep inhale here. Exhale, soften your front knee. Squeeze your inner thighs to gracefully drag your back foot forward and up for half moon. Inhale, right fingertips to sky. Don't fall like I just did. <laughs> Take a breath here, find balance. And maybe if you wanna go further today, bend your back knee, reach back with your right hand for a little bind. You can pull the heel in for a little more quad stretch or push into your palm with the top of your foot for a little more back bend. Take a few breaths wherever you're at today. Whew, and exhaling, slowly release if you have that bind. Turn your chest down for standing splits, heel to sky, lengthen. You can step back to take the vinyasa. If you want to go the handstand route, kick yourself up. Take a little hang time and take that vinyasa all the way back to downward facing dog. Your choice. Deep inhale and down dog. Exhale here. And just a little reminder that everything that I'm instructing you today is just suggestions. There's no mandatory practice here. And if you're feeling frustrated with something your body's not ready for, skip it. You can color in your practice however you choose. And it's always good to have something to work towards without it making your practice anything less. Take a breath in. Reach that right heel back. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip, look under that right arm. And if, again, if you have that space, slowly take the foot down and around, placing the toes on the earth. Inhale, wild thing, chest lifts up. Maybe right arm all over the head, taking that nice back bend. Exhale, pull back through center. Plant the hand, inhale, one-legged dog, stretch it back. Exhaling, pull knee to heart, squeeze tight, step lightly forward. Pivot your back heel flat, breathe in, Virabhadrasana two, fingertips reach. Deep breath here, digging into those heels, light up the inner thighs, knee comes over your ankle. Take a breath, arms come over the head, stretch tall. Exhale, clasp hands behind the back. Drag your knuckles down, heart opens, let it go. And exhale, fold inside that thigh. Let your neck drop and draw the knuckles forward for humble warrior. Keep stomping that right foot down. Slowly lift your chest halfway up. Release the bind and straighten your front leg. Maybe reminding it to just pull back a little. Bring fingertips to earth or shin. Inhale, left hand to sky. Trikonasana, deep breath. Exhale, soften that front knee. Squeeze your inner thighs to drag the back foot forward and up for half moon. Dig your heel, spread your toes, and just find a balance for a moment. 
If you want to add a little extra, bending that back knee, reach back for a bind, you know your options. I'm gonna take the back bend route today. Couple breaths. Slowly turning back through center. Kick that heel up nice and high. Standing splits, grow the leg long. And again, you know your options. Maybe going the handstand route or just stepping back to plank. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. And you've arrived in down dog. Deep, deep breath in. Side out, exhale. And on your next inhale, rise to your toes, gaze forward. Exhale, step, float, jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, empty, fold it in, release. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, grow tall. Exhale, pull hands through heart, grounding at your center here. Inhale, full breath, stretch tall. Exhale, fold forward, soften your hip creases. Breathe in, lift the heart halfway, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back. Utkatasana, fingertips reach. Spiral those pinkies in, sit deep into your chair, take a breath. Exhale, come down to a tiny squat, you know where we're going. Split those knees, fingertips spread wide, and just squeeze those upper arms. You may stay here today, that's totally legit. You don't have to go further. If you would like to go further, start to lean into those arms, keep squeezing the upper arms, and rocking into it. Maybe one foot picks up, maybe two. Squeeze that belly, take a breath. Exhale, step, float, jump, back to plank or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, let it out. Inhale, stretch left leg back long. On your exhale, bend your knee, open the hip. We've been here many times today. Again, if you wanna go further, stomp those toes behind you. Inhale, wild thing, chest lifts up. Let's open that back up, getting ourselves ready for the back bends. And exhale, turn it down. Stretch that leg back, deep inhale. Exhale, pull knee to right upper arm, squeeze tight. This time, maybe kick the heel out, come into the pinky edge of the foot, and inhale your right fingertips to sky for fall and triangle. Deep breath here, lift your hips. Exhale, palm plants. Squeeze that knee back in. Inhale, one-legged dog, stretch it back. Exhale, step wide on your mat. Pivot your back heel flat, pelvis facing forward. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, one, fingertips reach. Maybe those palms close together. And you take a strong breath here, reaching your fingertips up towards the sky. You should feel this tightening around the ears. Maybe you stretch it back. Take a breath. Exhale, grab opposite elbows. Stretch up, dig into that left foot. And let's side bend to the left. Inhale through center, release the bind. Exhaling, fold halfway forward. Dig into that front foot, squeeze your inner thighs, and nice and gracefully pull your back foot forward and up to take flight into warrior three. Deep breath in warrior three, squeeze those inner thighs. Exhale, turn the chest down, standing splits, leg grows long. Again, you know your options today. Maybe you go the handstand route, kicking up, and I'll meet you. Downward facing dog. Whew. Breathe in, let it out. Drawing that awareness right back to the four corners of this mat. Finishing your practice nice and strong. Next breath in, sweep your right leg back long. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Maybe toes come all the way down and around to wild thing. Inhale, right arm over the head. One breath, open the heart. Exhale, plant your palm. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, pull knee to left upper arm. Kick that heel out, coming to the pinky edge of the foot. Inhale, left fingertips to sky for fall and triangle. Deep breath here, press into that front palm. Exhale, turn down. Plant your palms, squeeze the knee in. Inhale, one-legged dog, stretch that leg back. Exhale, pull knee in, step wide on your mat. Pivot your back heel flat. 
Breathe in, Virabhadrasana one, fingertips to the sky. Exhaling, palms press, reaching the fingertips up nice and long, maybe blocking out the sound of my voice with your arms, squeezing it nice and tight into the ears. Take a strong breath here, closing the thumbs together. Exhaling, grab opposite elbows. Let's stretch up and side bend to your right. Inhale through center, stretch those fingertips. Exhale, fold halfway forward. Dig into that front knee. Take a strong breath here and wrap that right thigh back. On your exhale, taking flight, pull your back foot forward and up to warrior three. Let's lift the chest, lengthening your whole body forward. Deep inhale. Exhale, turn down, standing splits, heel to sky, deep breath here. If you'd like to go further, you got that handstand option, I'll meet you, downward facing dog. <sighs> Breathe in, let it out, exhale. <sighs> and slowly bring yourself forward to a plank pose, lower to your forearms, forearm plank. Take a strong breath here, feel your belly pull in, and wrap your tailbone back and then puff your shoulder blades up. So imagine a balloon in between your shoulder blades. I want you to puff them up nice and strong and take one inhale. On your exhale, slow lower, hips, ribs to earth. Inhale, sphinx pose, chest lifts up. Take a strong breath here, pull, energetically pulling your arms back. And slowly breathe in. On your next exhale, let's curl chin. Slowly roll your way all the way back up to a forearm plank. Take a strong breath in forearm plank and slowly walk your toes towards your elbows for dolphin pose. You can close your palms together if that feels better. Take a couple breaths here, opening your shoulders up, really pushing into the ground. Maybe exploring if you wanna extend your right leg up. And bringing it back down, left leg up. Bringing it back down, deep breath. Slowly walk your way back, forearm plank. And lower hips, ribs to the earth. Lift your chest up, sphinx pose. We're gonna do that again, we're gonna add on a little bit. So take a nice breath in forearm plank, press your forearms down, or sorry, sphinx pose. Slowly curl chin. Roll your way all the way back up to forearm plank. Squeeze your belly, make it nice and strong, pressing the ground away with those forearms. Take a breath. Slowly walk your feet towards your elbows. Dolphin pose. Try to split those shoulders apart and getting a nice stretch here. Again, those hands can come together if it feels better. Take a couple breaths and maybe playing again with those feet. This time, if you want to, maybe add a little inversion into your practice. If you have a wall, take a few tiny hops, just trying to find some hang time in that forearm plank. Take a breath wherever you're at today. Just exploring, having fun, creating your own practice. And slowly coming back down if you lifted, lowering hips, ribs to earth. Inhale, Sphinx Pose, take a breath. Slowly walk yourself however you want to get there, back up to plank pose. Optional, taking the vinyasa, or I'll meet you, downward facing dog. We've arrived in down dog, breathe in, let it out, exhale. Deep breath, stretch your left leg back long. On your exhale, pull the knee to your left upper arm, squeeze it really tight. Inhale, reach back, lengthen. Exhale, step lightly forward. Dig into your back foot, breathe in, high lunge, fingertips reach. Take a strong breath here. On your exhale, bring right elbow on top of left. Wind your arms around for eagle arms. Press your elbows together, reaching them forward, and spread your shoulder blades apart, feeling them pull apart or imagining them pull apart. Take a breath. Exhale, unwind. Bring fingertips to earth and straighten your front leg. You might need to walk that back foot in, but I want you to imagine yourself wrapping your left hip back so you're scissoring up those inner thighs. 
just crawling the chest forward. If you have space for it, pick your front toes up, reach them towards your face, and take two deep breaths in pyramid pose, getting that nice hamstring stretch here. <sighs> Exhale, bend the front knee. Keep right palm planted on the earth. Inhale, left fingertips to sky for a little twist. Deep breath here. Here's our big moment today. Squeeze your inner thighs. And using all the strength in those inner thighs, drag your left foot back, bringing it on top of the right foot for side plank. Now, if you want to modify, put your right knee down for modified side plank. Otherwise, let's take a breath here. Lift your hips, squeeze your belly in. Maybe that front, that top leg hovers. Deep breath. <sighs> Exhale, turn down. Wash it away, come forward, squeeze the elbows, chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let it out, exhale. Inhale, sweep the right leg back long. Exhale, pull knee into your right upper arm. Maybe make contact, squeeze tight. Inhale, back through center. Reach. Exhaling, pull the knee in. Step lightly forward. Dig into your back foot. Breathe in, high lunge, fingertips reach. Like you're ripping your mat apart with your feet, dig them really, really tight, nice and strong. Exhaling, sweep that left elbow on top of right. Wind your arms around. You can also grab opposite elbows, I forgot to mention. Otherwise, winding the arms around, dig your elbows forward, spread shoulder blades apart for eagle arms. Take a breath. Exhale, unwind. Fingertips coming to earth. Straighten that front leg and pull the hip back, scissor your inner thighs. And maybe those front toes pick up, reaching towards your face. Think long spine before you fold forward into it. Take two deep breaths. <sighs> Exhale, soft bend to that front leg. Bring left palm to earth. Inhale, right fingertips to sky. Deep breath here for revolved lunge. Again, using all that strength. Pull your right foot back, taking it on top of the left foot. Inhale, side plank. You know your modification options. Take a couple breaths here. Maybe that right foot picks up. Exhale, turn down. Plant your palms. Come forward to your tippy toes. Lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let it out. Inhale, rise to your tippy toes, gaze in between the thumbs. Exhale, step, flow, jump all the way to your backs. We made it, our last hard part today. Planting your feet on the earth. Stretch your arms out alongside of you. So we're starting right back where we began our practice today. This should all feel like home, a little familiarity. Take a deep breath in, fill up your lungs. And on your exhale, feel your back flatten towards the earth. This shape is very important when you begin to rise up into your back bend. So again, let's take a breath. And lower that back towards the earth, flattening nice and deep. Feel your, your core squeezing. Dig into your heels and start to lift your hips and ribs up. Keep that nice strong core here as you lift up. And just like we did at the beginning, maybe walk those shoulder blades under, clasping your hands behind you. I want you to feel tension in your core as you continue to lift your hips up. So it should be a very small tension, but feel your tailbone dragging back towards your heels as you continue to lift up. So imagine your spine getting longer as you lift more into the back bend. Take a breath. Squeeze those inner thighs. And slowly lower to the earth. Sway the knees from side to side. Take a moment. So I'm going to cue full Urdhva Dhanurasana or full wheel pose. That's not in your practice yet. Just take bridge again. You can also do full wheel against a wall or with two blocks uh, underneath your palms. All right. So let's take a breath here. Fill your lungs up. On your exhale, flatten that spine towards the earth. Keep that shape as you start to lift your hips and ribs up. 
If you're going to full Urdhva, bring your palms beside your ears, fingertips facing your feet, elbows pointing straight up towards the ceiling, and use all your might to press yourself up into full wheel pose. When you arrive there, draw your elbows in towards each other and open your shoulders up. So imagine your chest just opening up nice and wide. Dig into your feet and take a couple breaths, enjoying your wheel pose. Finding that nice shape. One more inhale. And slowly lower head, shoulders to the earth, keeping that strength butt to earth and then just sway the knees from side to side washing it away a couple breaths slowly pull it back through center dig those feet into the earth again take a breath in fill up your lungs and then your exhale flatten your spine towards the earth start to lift hips ribs up and then just place those palms beside your ears, fingertips facing your feet. Again, let's squeeze the elbows in and slowly lift yourself all the way up to Urdhva Dhanurasana. This is our last time, so make it count. Squeeze those elbows in. If you feel like your back is clenched, come to your toes. A little cheating, but it feels a little bit nicer. Take two more breaths here. Rotate those elbows in. And slowly lower head, shoulders to the earth, sway the knees, take a couple breaths. Whew, all done with the hard stuff today. Bring your feet as wide as your mat and let your knees knock together. It releases some tension in the lower back. A couple breaths. Quieting the mind, slow the breath down. Slowly pull it back through center, squeeze your knees in, grab the shins, and rock your way forward and back, coming all the way back to downward facing dog. Take a strong breath and down dog in, side out exhale. We'll bring your feet as wide as your mat, bend your knees, and for a moment, just take it easy on the spine, making it your easiest down dog. Maybe even a slight back bend or maybe a rounding of the spine more. <sighs> Slow your breath down, quieting your mind once again so you can finish this practice fully. Completing this time that you've ta taken for yourself today. Deep inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, pull your knee to your chest, squeeze it nice and tight. And then bring that left ankle towards your right wrist, laying the shin down on the earth. Crawl your right leg back, letting your hips sink towards the earth. For a moment, take a breath in, lift your heart, let your hips sink. Slowly crawl your way forward and towards the earth for pigeon pose. Maybe you just come to your forearms, maybe you completely release into the posture. We're gonna be here for a few breaths, so try to be patient. Just let yourself feel the stretch. Take a couple more breaths here. Imagine yourself melting towards the ground, completely releasing any grip, any hold you feel the need to have right now. Slowly crawl those fingertips back to plant the hands. Curl your back toes and lift that leg up and back to downward facing dog. Maybe cycle for a moment. And then coming back to neutral, deep inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, pull the knee in, squeeze it nice and tight. Bring ankle towards left wrist this time and lay the shin down. Crawl your left foot back. For a moment, lift your chest up, let your hips sink. Exhale, slowly lower towards the earth. Forearms on the ground. 
maybe releasing all the way towards the earth. Couple more breaths here. Release that last grip, that last bit of tension. Slowly walk the fingertips back to plant. Step back, downward facing dog. Cycle the legs. And just rock your way forward, nice and easy to a plank pose, dropping your knees to the earth for tabletop pose. When you've arrived in table, take a breath in, lift your heart, and let your belly fall towards the ground. On your exhale, press the ground away, round your spine, and tuck the chin like a scary, spooky Halloween cat. Inhale again, lift up, pull those shoulder blades back. Exhaling to round, tuck your chin, press the ground away, grow the arms long. Let's take one more of those cat cows. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to round. Finding a neutral in between cat and cow. Take a breath in. Stretch your left fingertips all the way up towards the sky. On your exhale, weave underneath you. Lay down on that left shoulder. And then crawl your right fingertips forward and off to your left side. If this feels good for you, stay. If you want to go a little extra, stretch your right toes back, planting them on the earth at the back of your mat, and just leaning into that shoulder for a little thread the needle. Slowly coming back through center. Walk that right hand back. Inhale, left fingertips to sky. Exhale, tabletop pose. Maybe taking one cat cow in table. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round the spine. Second side, inhale, right arm lifts up. Exhale, weave underneath you, lay down on that shoulder and crawl your left hand forward off to your right side. Take a breath here. If you would like to go extra, stretch your left toes back and just leaning into that right shoulder, opening it up nice and wide. Slowly walk the left hand back, plant the palm, inhale, reach your fingertips up, exhale tabletop pose. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Coming back through to a neutral table. Let's swing those feet around and come all the way to a seat. Our last few stretches here. Take your feet nice and wide and just scoop your flesh out from underneath your tailbone. So if you're extra tight, you may want to sit up on a blanket or a pillow. I should have mentioned that before class. If you want to, go grab one quick. Otherwise, take a breath here and lift your spine up nice and tall, reminding yourself to fold over those hip creases, maybe place two fingers right here, and then just fold lightly forward over your hip creases, stretching your chest forward as you fold, and then when you can't fold any further, drop your neck, head coming last, soften into it. We're going to be here for a few breaths, so just relax, release the tension. Quiet the mind, soften that space between your eyebrows. Let go. few more breaths here, maybe sinking a little deeper. Let's 
Slowly walking your chest back up. Bring your feet together. Straight legs forward. Scoop that flesh out from underneath your tailbone again so you're grounding into your sit bones. Spine lifts tall, take a breath. Exhale, folding over the hip creases, long spine forward. Dropping your head last. For this one, you can grab a hold of the feet and just have a light tug, but be careful not to yank or stretch anything past where it's at. Let your shoulders soften. Take a couple more breaths here, sinking deeper. Slowly lifting your chest up. Let's lay all the way down into our backs. We're gonna do one last twist here. So pull your knees in, plant your feet, and for a moment just lift your hips up and take them off to your left side. Pull your knees into your chest and let them fall off to your right side. You can grab a hold of the legs with your right hand and then just extend that left arm out long. Maybe gazing off the fingertips. Just taking a few breaths here. Slowly pull back through center. Adjusting hips, bringing them off to your right side. And pull the knees in, let the knees fall off to your left. Again, you can grab a hold of the legs and then just extend that right arm out long. Maybe gazing off the fingertips. Slowly pulling back through center. Stretch your legs out long. Relax your arms at your sides. Take one last deep breath in through the nose. Sigh it out, exhale. Relax your feet, your legs, your chest, your arms, your face. Just take a minute or two in Shavasana, complete stillness. Bring a little movement to your hands, to your feet. Deepening your breath. And slowly pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a warm squeeze. Thank your body, thank everything it did today. Just rolling off to whichever side. Maybe using your arm as a pillow. And slowly bringing yourself up, coming to meet me in a seat. Taking an easy seat, and just bringing palms together, thumbs plugging at your sternum. One last time, close the eyes, lift your spine up tall, and just feel full breaths happening here. Take one last breath in, slow sigh out. And just one last reminder that whatever life may bring to you, to your table, 
you can always come back here to your practice, taking the time to explore your body and maybe learning a little bit about the corners, the crevices or the pockets in your mind. Just cultivating an experience for yourself to dive deeper into who you are and what you want out of this life here. Take one last breath in, full breath in. Sigh it out, exhale. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. Hopefully you got a nice stretch in, um, maybe even your first back bend today. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, come back, join me for another practice sometime. Otherwise, stay tuned and I'll see you for the next video.